Hello, my name is Stefan, and I will lead you through the new features in SAMVIN 6. SAMVIN 6 comes with an entirely new licensing principle. The basis of a SAMVIN contact center suite is now the seat. The number of seats determines the licensing requirements. Some extra packages can be added to provide additional functionality. One seat always comes with a call center workplace, a web frame and ACD functionality. Optional modules are attendant packages, which include directories, busy lamp field, one presence connector, call recording and one voicemail. Then email contact center and supervisor packages. Additional packages for server features are required for a hot standby server, additional SIP trunks, IVR channels, presence connectors, calendar connectors, mobile connectors and mailboxes. To activate a new license, open the Sambin Service Manager. Click on the button to the right of the Sambin Core Service. Now enter your exact license text and license key provided in the email sent to you. To prevent spelling mistakes, you should use copy and paste for this. Click on Save. Now click the button to open the activation page. Click on Submit to activate your license. Now copy the generated activation key into the Service Manager and click on Save to apply the settings. If your license includes calendar or present services, those have to be activated in the same way. Samvin now comes with SQL Server 2012 Express SP1. A SQL Server setup file for Samwin can be found in our Samvin Service Center. This will also be included in the Samvin setup disk. The setup is fully automated and all necessary Samvin settings and requirements will be pre-selected. The Samvin setup package now includes all supported languages. When opening the Samvin agent or the Samvin system manager for the first time, the desired language can be selected. To show this language selection window, on each startup, open the properties of your Samvin agent shortcut and add the parameter show lang. To link a SIP simple gateway, go to your SIP gateways in the telephony parameters. Create a new SIP gateway and change the settings according to your environment. Set the registration type to registrant server and enter the user credentials of an end user account on your gateway. Note that this user has to have the correct permissions and features. If you have an active SIP trunk, for this server, the remote port has to be different here. Don't forget to enable this gateway once you're complete with configuration. Click the tab Extended Settings and enable SIP Simple. Click on Apply Configuration to apply your settings. To create a new import profile, open the Samin System Manager. Expand the node general and click on import export. Select a profile to modify or enter a name for a new profile and click next. If you want to modify the import result, you can execute SQL commands after this import job. Click on next and select LDAP server. Enter your LDAP server name, port and root directory. 
You can perform a connection test by clicking on the button besides the server name. To display the Active Directory and select the sub-level directory, click on the button right to the root directory. You can enter an optional filter. Enter a user and password for a properly configured user and select your authentication method. Now you can choose how many levels you want to import. Either you only need the root directory or you want to include one sub-level or you want to import all sub-directories. If this maximum number of modified records is exceeded, an email can be sent as warning message. Click Next to display the import data. And press Next again to configure your import. Select all the columns you want to synchronize and where you want to put them in the Sambin database. Normally this will be the subscriber table. Select one identity per table you use. When you're finished, click Next to check your configuration. Click Start to complete this process and start the import. Sambin can now access shared calendars. To enable this feature, you have to create an exchange connector and provide the username of an appropriate user. To create a new exchange connector, open the Samvin Web Manager and go to your service system settings. Click on Collaboration and then Calendaring and select Create Exchange Connector in the Action menu. For any further questions, consult the Samvin reference or ask the Samvin support team. Thanks for watching.